How to decrypt the POCO F3R, the Xiaomi Mi 11X. Hey peeps, what's up, Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can decrypt your POCO F3 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X. Now, do note that decrypting your device is a personal preference. And this is generally for those of you who want to switch between different ROMs without having to perform a format data each time, which is why you would want to run your device decrypted. Again, it is not a necessity for any custom ROM. It is just a personal preference. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, of course, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader. Then you need to have a custom recovery like TWRP installed. How do you unlock the bootloader? How do you install TWRP recovery? Videos for those can be found in the description of the video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also make sure you have at least 10 GB of internal storage space available. Again, 10 GB of empty space available on your device. If you have something like 3 GB, 4 GB, it is not going to work. You need at least 10 GB maybe around 15 GB of empty space available on your device. Now, I will be doing this from stock MIUI, but the process will work even if you are on a custom ROM. And the next thing to note is that you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because we have to perform a format data. And no, you cannot go from an encrypted device to a decrypted device without performing a format data. Next up, you need to go into settings and then you will go into password and security, remove your screen lock, fingerprint and face unlock. Once that is done, go back, go into me account and remove your me account. Once that is done, go back, go into accounts and sync and remove your Google account. Once you have removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. Why are we removing all these accounts and security measures? We are doing this because we are decrypting a device. And me personally, I do not like to sign back into all the accounts. If you want to sign back into your accounts, once you have factory reset your device by performing a format data, then feel free to not remove these accounts. Next up, what are the files which you need now? All the files which you need are linked in the description of the video. So for starters, you need the disable force encryption file for the POCO F3 or the Mi 11X. And then you also need the system RW file, which is going to mount your partitions as read write. So these are the two files which you need on your device. Next thing we need to do is we need to boot into our custom recovery. In my case, it is TWRP. So first of all, turn off your device. Once the device is turned off, press and hold power and volume up together. Once you see the Mi logo or the POCO logo, let go of the power button, keep volume up pressed. And this is going to ensure that we boot into our custom recovery, which in this case is TeamWin or TWRP custom recovery. Now, once you've booted into TWRP, we will go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files. If you downloaded the files on your phone directly, they will be in the download folder. First of all, we're going to try and flash disable force encryption. And again, you do not need to inject TWRP after install. So select disable force encryption and then swipe to confirm flash. Now, as you can see, if you go ahead and read it, it is going to tell you that vendor not ready, read, write. This means that my vendor partition, my system partition, in short, my partitions are not mounted as read, write, which is why disable force encryption failed. If it works over here, it will let you know. Next up, tap on the home button, go back into install. And this is where the system read, write file comes into the picture. This is the file which is going to mount your partitions as read write so next up we are going to select this file again you do not need to inject twrp it will still be there once the process is done and once you have selected the system read write file swipe to confirm flash now do note that system read write is going to take some time and you have to be patient do not reboot your device while it is happening and if it gives you an error it is mostly because of the fact that you do not have enough free space available on your device now, at some point during the process of flashing system RW, you might get the message of invalid sparse file format at header magic. Again, as the message over here says, it is absolutely fine. There is nothing wrong with your device and the process is going as normal as possible. 
Now once the process has finished successfully you are going to get this message that congratulations your images should now have read write capability you can ignore these failed to mount errors tap on the home button go into reboot and here and select recovery back into twrp we will go into install and this time around we need to flash disable force encryption one more time so select the file and then swipe to confirm flash and this time around you should get no errors so here it is you can see that it is ready for read write data is ready vendor is ready for read write and the f stab was patched without any errors tap on the home button go into reboot and select recovery one more time back into twrp and before we proceed further if you plan to flash custom roms after decrypting your device you have to perform the steps which we have done till now every time after that you need to go into wipe advanced wipe wipe your data again wiping data is only if you are switching roms you have performed all the steps and want to stay decrypted if you're decrypting for the first time which we are doing right now go into wipe format data type in yes tap on the check mark on the bottom right do note that format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device so make sure you have a backup of all those things and there it is you can see format data was performed without any errors Next Next up, all you need to do is select reboot system. And there it is, we do have the MIUI boot animation and the first boot up will take some time because we have performed a format data which is as good as a factory reset. And there it is, we are on the setup screen. Let me skip the initial setup real quick. And we are on the home screen of MIUI. Let us go into settings and then you can go into password and security and privacy. And once you are in privacy, you should look for encryption and credentials. Bam, here it is. Phone not encrypted. This means we have successfully decrypted our POCO F3 or the Mi 11X. And that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.